What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the new Nerf Modulus Storage Stock. All right, guys, this thing is pretty cool. We have an extendable stock, I do believe, that also uh, will hold darts in the back. So the back end uh, pops up like it shows here and holds, um, I'm not sure how many darts it's going to hold, but we'll find that out here soon enough. Uh, so this is sort of similar to the Raider stock and how it's extendable. Um, we'll see how it compares with that. And uh, I'm not sure if I like the design quite as much, but it is pretty cool that it will hold darts in the back. I think that's neat. And uh, hopefully it'll look cool on some of the modulus blasters we're going to try it on. Let's just go ahead and uh, crack into this guy. All right, I'm just going to open it up right here, and hopefully you guys can see it all right. Not too fancy of an unboxing. Oh, there's some tape up there, of course. So I picked this up at Target today. I also picked up the shield, so look for a review on that coming soon also. When you're at Target, and it, I mean, that's the place I found these at. I'm sure they'll be at Walmart and, you know, Meyer and all your retail stores, but... You might not see them right off the bat. You kind of might have to search. I actually found these behind like the tactical light. So they all come, I think, in a package. So it's not like they're sold or to the store. They're not shipped to the store separately. They're all shipped in like a group. So just because just because you don't see it on the front of the shelf, uh, you may have to just, just look through the, look through the uh, other attachments and you may find what you're looking for. So I uh, just want to let you guys know that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. There it is. Uh, pretty cool. Um, let's pull it out. There she be. It's pretty sweet. So, extends. Uh, very similar to the Raider uh, stock. I guess you'll push this in to, to, to put it back in and then it'll pop out. There's uh, already missed. So this is the first setting, second setting, third setting, and fourth setting. So that's pretty cool. Actually, now that I have this in my hands, I think it looks better than I thought it did originally, but uh, let's go ahead and throw it on some blasters. Okay, uh, we're going to try this on three of the modulus blasters. So this is obviously the first modulus blaster. Um, that's how that looks. It's a little bit wobbly, I, I feel like, uh, just a tad when you have it fully extended. Uh, but it's not horrible. The Raider stock has that problem a bit too. But, uh, I don't know. That thing looks pretty cool on there. I think it, it works well on this blaster. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that it has that ability to fit pretty much anybody with the adjustability of it. That's what everybody, one of the things everybody loves about the Raider stock. So we'll go ahead and open up the back. That's uh, where you're going to store your darts. That's pretty sweet. And uh, I'm going to grab some darts and see how many we can get to fit in there. All right, I just have a bucket full of darts down here. And uh, they're all different types, uh, Kush and whatnot. So all basically the same size. So we'll just see how many will fit in there. I was able to fit basically 10 darts in here comfortably. I mean, I'm sure you could smash some more in, but that would kind of defeat the purpose because that's going to smash your darts and ruin them. You don't want you know, smashed up darts and then try to fire those. But uh, they aren't the easiest to get out. Like, I can't pull it out with my finger when I fill it all the way up. So if you want to be able to get them out quickly, I wouldn't recommend putting in 10. But 10 will fit. And then obviously you can just dump them out backwards like this and then pull them out that way. So pretty sweet. It closes up with the darts in it just like that. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing on a, another modulus blaster. All right, so that's the uh, what it looks like on the Tri-Strike. Uh, doesn't line up super great here. Um, maybe a little bit bulky, but it's not horrible. I think that looks okay. And when you have the white, gray, and orange, it pretty much will work on most any blaster. I mean, you know, looks-wise. That's how that looks. I mean, I think it looks okay. Not amazing, but pretty good. And uh, we'll go ahead and try it on the Recon Mark II now. All right, that's it on the Recon Mark II. I think that looks pretty cool. I still wish this thing was just a little, it just wobbles just a little bit. And that's just a little bit annoying to me. That's why I usually prefer like a, you know, Lightning Storm style stock that's solid and long. It's like 
for me that's like the perfect length i wish they would come out with that in the modulus line or some version similar to that kind of like they have done here uh, because that is just in my opinion the best stock but uh, this one's pretty sweet too and it's nice that it has that storage in there so okay so i grabbed my strife here that is slightly modified but will work just fine for that looks pretty sweet on there the oranges are a little bit different but not too not probably not super noticeable especially to you uh but yeah that looks pretty cool and that that i really the length of this is really nice i do the length is like perfect when it's fully extended so i really i think that's actually really comfortable on the strife and doesn't look too bad it's a little little off here but you know uh works pretty well so yeah and then that's it collapsed that looks i think it looks a little weird when it's collapsed just because it's so bulky but when you extend it it looks a little bit better to me anyway so so i got my orange eat here and that's what it looks like there looks pretty good the white is kind of out of place because there's no white on this blaster but uh the oranges actually this orange matches up reasonably well with the uh orange of the jam door and the whatever you want to call this grill area of the blaster and uh yeah so that's kind of neat comfortable um so yeah not bad i think i like this stock i think it's a great great purchase uh it was 7.99 at target uh that's its retail price all right guys so you kind of got the uh idea with uh it on some different blasters and how it could look i think it's a pretty cool stock and i think it's uh worth a purchase um I mean, it's uh, it's pretty comfortable. Wobbles a tad. That's like the only knock I really have on it. Uh, I guess it's up to you whether if you like the looks of it. I think it looks pretty good, um, especially when it's fully extended. Yeah, pretty cool, and I love that it actually serves two purposes and holds some darts in there. So that's pretty neat. If you want this, I'll try to find a buy link to put in the description box below. But if I can't find one, you might be able to find these at Target because that's where I got mine. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, peace out.